Hello everyone and welcome to episode one of my XT series. Yes, I know I'm late to the game. Um, I did a discovery um episode about them a while back, but I saw after that that they kept on releasing singles. And if there's something that you need to know about me, I'm an album girly. I love albums because I just want to drown in your music. And I was waiting for them to have a bit more like albums under their belt before I dove in into their music because... I'm that greedy fan. I'm the fan that is like, I just got music and I'm already like, when is the comeback? I'm that person. And I'm not ashamed to admit it, especially when it's a group that I really enjoy. And what I love about XG, right, is one, how unique they are and how they stand out in an industry that is so competitive and there's just so much going on all the time. And you know, at times it starts to feel like, okay, um, this is the era of X type of music or this type of music. For example, right? We had the disco phase. Everybody was doing disco and then we went into Afrobeat and I don't know when we are going to get out of it, you know, but right now everybody is doing Afrobeat. But what I love about XG is they, while giving you that nostalgic feel with the music have a very strong and defined sound and identity and i think that really definitely set them apart another thing another thing that set them apart is how great they are in terms of rapping i'm not saying that we didn't have great female rappers before in the industry we definitely do. And as somebody that consumes as much um, hip-hop and r and um, and, you know, the pop side of the Korean music or Japanese and the other um, genres, I feel like, personally, regardless of how many talented female MCs there are out there, there's still a sort of disrespect when it comes to their skills and the music that they make. And what I love about XG is they don't need to tell you we are good or we are this. No, they present you with a song and you are going to judge and be convinced just by their skill. I love how great the rapping is. And I also love the chemistry between the members. I love how the music and the sound and everything that they do always feel very complete. This is a finished product. You know, you can tell that they definitely thought about everything when it comes to what will make up what we are going to put out there. So production is another thing that is really, really great. I love their artistry. I love their uniqueness, like I said, and New DNA was a very good project. I loved it from top to bottom and I just enjoyed myself a lot. You know, as much as I love albums, I also love the fact that they are really just putting out music in a way that they are constantly being talked about, you know, putting singles out constantly as long as there's like something else like a a bigger body of work behind it that we are going to push um all with it because people are always going to see you everywhere if you constantly just have music out and i feel like they definitely earn respect by putting out music that makes sense um the rapping is so good you know you don't get those very very awkward lines and you feel like oh my god who wrote this no everything about hg is very um well thought of and well put together and the girls are so so talented i have to say though maya she has won me over because at the beginning I was not seeing <laughs> the vision in the sense of you know 
what is so interesting about the different rappers in XG and the way they carry themselves is it's a ve- they are all very distinct. But the thing with Maya Wright is she's that silent killer that just comes at the spice, at the flavor, and she just ugh, embody that wow factor. I'm not saying everybody else does not have that, but I feel like when it comes to XG, you have some of the girls have that very in your face type of persona. It's like, oh, I'm the boss. <laughs> but then you have others, they are there, and then the moment they start singing, rapping, you're like, oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I was not paying attention. And for me, Maya, she is just that girl i love it but everything about her i love just oh her presence her delivery the way she comes across and i just really really enjoy everything about her i love xg but i have a bias set and maya oh my god (laughs) she's the one now when it comes to my personal favorites in this album i would say there are two of them I love all the songs, but there's definitely two that stand out the most to me. So, number two would be Puppet Show. It's time I get what I deserve Act like you don't know what I'm worth We spend a lot of time talking But it feels like I'm never Oh my god, 
the rapping, what can I say? But the star of the album, the best song on this project is We Doubt It Out, Girl Gang. Different kind of party The type of crew don't got a inside of nobody You mess around with us, I promise you'll be sorry Trust me, trust me, that be a bit mistake We go hard every day And my girls ain't here to play If you ain't tough, can't join the club Yeah, we only got room for the baddies Middle one is my team production it's so good i love how dark it is and this will be so great for like mm, i don't know if you've seen the movie um birds of prey that would be such a great soundtrack for that movie there's something so badass about the song um and i love everything about it of course the rapping let me tell you Hona, maya <laughs> They did their thing on here. Like, everybody always does amazingly, but, you know, some songs and some vibe fits some people a bit more. Does that make sense? Yes. Um. So let me know in the comments how you felt about this album, which song ended up your favorite, who is your bias, what's your favorite song and album by them, and, you know, all that good stuff in the comments. That's it for me today. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, or subscribe.